Chu Xiaotan returned to the room drunkly in a Chinese dress, ready to take a look at the two beauties we married today, but he did not expect to see two intimate scenes. Time goes back to a month ago. At the moment Dong Yue is still the Dong Yue, Mo Lianchun ascended the throne and proclaimed the emperor, Chu Xiaotan's mother is the Dong Yue in the world. When Chu Xiaotan was irritated by his son Yuer, Mo Lianchun was fighting with the assassin. The two sides refused to give way to each other. Suddenly the team arrived and the assassin was killed when he fled in a hurry. Yu refused to study, Chu Xiao Tan could only look at him and sigh. Mo Lianchun returned to the mansion and praised Chu Xiao Tan's teachings. Chu Xiao Tan was so angry that he wanted him to be an idiot. He also complained that men could work and earn money to be emperors, and women could only wash clothes, cook, and take children at home. The two were arguing. Yu was already attracted by the things in the cabinet. It was too late for the two of them to react and was stunned by a powerful force. Chu Xiaotan woke up again and saw Chu Zhonglin, who was already dead, and he noticed that it was true. Chu Xiaotan let out an exclamation, Jing Xin hurried over and called her a princess. Chu Xiaotan was in shock and quickly began to search for Mo Lianchang and Yuer. Chu Zhonglin said that Chu Xiaotan is the second princess of Dong Yue Kingdom and has the opportunity to inherit Datong in the future. Chu Xiaotan's older sister is called Chu Meyer, and she believes that she can't get rid of this new sister this time. Chu Xiaotan found out after confirming that she had crossed again, this time she was still a male and female inverted physique. Chu Xiaotan hastily pretended to be Chu Tainer, trying to extract more information from Chu Zhonglin Ku. Chu Zhonglin is the emperor's cousin, but Chu Xiaotan and Chu Meyer are princesses, this generation is completely messed up. In this world, Men are dependent on women, women's self-cultivation is in harmony with the world, and men abide by the four virtues of their husbands and morals. The queen has no heirs, so she wants to choose one from Chu Xiaotan and Chu Meyer to inherit the Datong. Chu Xiaotan knew that Chu Zhonglin was a man, and after driving him away, he quickly inquired about Mo Lianchung from Jingxin, and learned that he was going to enter the palace for drafting today, that is, to be elected to the emperor's harem. Chu Xiaotan heard that he was very angry, and hurriedly entered the palace. Mo Lianchung and the emperor seemed to have been in love for a long time, and this time the candidate was insulted by young master Su and hit back. Everywhere Chu Xiaotan entered the palace, people saw her, making her feel a little airy, Jing Xin helped her put on a sachet, which was bestowed by the emperor. Chu Xiaotan shouted that Cheng Sheng was quickly stopped by Jing Xin, and Chu Xiaotan decided to get in and find out the situation first. Su Yuela said that the emperor kissed her and Chu Xiaotan to co-host the draft and Chu Xiaotan suddenly realized. A few months ago, Mo Lianchung tried his best to hide his amnesia, but he was very uncomfortable with the harsh etiquette of this world. Mo Lianchung wanted to know why this happened. Chu Xiaotan ran to Mo Lianchung and said he didn't need to be selected, but Mo Lianchung didn't seem to know her respectfully calling her a princess. Chu Xiaotan thought that there were too many people here, so he cheered him up and Mo Lianchung left speechlessly. Chu Xiaotan decided to find a way to eliminate Mo Lian City first, and then look for a chance to connect. Chu Xiaotan tried his best to eliminate Mo Lianchung. Unexpectedly, Su Yuela's younger brother Su Jingyuan didn't want Mo Lianchung to be selected. He deliberately knocked over his teacup. Chu Xiaotan took the opportunity to find faults, and Su Yuela hurriedly pulled her. Say that Mo Lianchung is the emperor, no matter what, he will be selected. Chu Xiaotan asked Mo Lianchung to help her change clothes. Seeing that Mo Lianchung still didn't know her, she remembered that he might just be Mo Lianchung in this world, and wanted to use his wounds to confirm. After pulling open his clothes, Chu Xiaotan saw that Mo Lianchung had no scars on his chest, and was a little bit disappointed. I wish him an early runaway after his mother's life, leaving Mo Lianchung with a look of wonder. Chu Xiaotan heard from Su Yuela that Xuzi had to change her clothes before entering the palace, and hurriedly ran to take a peek, but she didn't expect Mo Lianchung to spot it. At this moment, Mo Lianchung suddenly had a splitting headache, and later recognized Chu Xiaotan again. Chu Xiaotan kissed Mo Lianchung with excitement, and when the two felt unhappy, Mo Lianchung suddenly pushed her away, as if he didn't know Chu Xiaotan again. Chu Xiaotan saw the legendary empress, but she didn't expect her to look exactly like herself.